good morning children how are you all doing first have you all did the eye exercise make sure you are doing the eye exercise every day are you all happy and healthy so we have been discussing many measures safety measures to take care of ourselves and to eat healthy food how to keep our surroundings healthy do follow everything share with your parents also children so always stay happy when you're happy you will be healthy also so make sure you're having a good healthy foods in your diet today let us see some interesting facts related to solar system school cool space facts the sun makes up 99.8 of the solar system the remaining 1.2 percentage only it is about the planets first you see mercury's year last 1.5 days it is very short period of year next venus spins backwards and nobody knows why third one earth is the only planet known to harbor life whether or not there is intelligent is up for a debate I don't know that next is mars has two polar ice caps jupiter has storms that would swallow the earth twice very interesting no saturn has 57 moons uranus is the first planet to be discovered by using a telescope neptune is the coolest planet in the solar system pluto is not a planet at all get over it is it how interesting yes or no children okay now let us recap what all we discussed in the last class so we discussed speed velocity acceleration and distance time graph i hope you remember them so speed definition what is the definition of a speed rate of change of distance in a unit time it is a scalar quantity it will not to say about the direction and all it will say about the distance change alone it will talk about unit is meter per second what is the formula distance traveled by time taken next we moved on to velocity velocity is what rate of change of displacement in unit time this will talk about the direction and the distance covered also so this is vector quantity unit is meter per second formula is displacement by time taken next is acceleration so acceleration is the rate of change of velocity in unit time again it is a vector quantity its si unit is meter per second square acceleration is equal to change in velocity by time which is final velocity minus initial velocity is change in velocity formula is what a is equal to v minus u by t okay and what happens when the velocity increases with respect to time the value of acceleration will be positive if it decreases with time the acceleration value will be negative then we call it as a negative acceleration negative acceleration is otherwise called as retardation or deceleration and also we saw the uniform motion graph so when we plotted a graph always for uniform motion what will happen the graph will be a linear one because as the speed increases steep the slope will be becoming steeper and steeper okay otherwise the value will become larger so uh, the distance as the di distance increase as time increases your graph will become a linear graph okay so for uniform motion the graph will be always linear for non uniform motion how it will be it will not be linear it will be in the other shape so non linear variation will be shown for non uniform speed so it is very clear from the graph we saw in today we are going to discuss velocity time graph and equations of motion first we'll move on to the velocity time graph so this in this graph the variation in velocity of an object with the time it is represented here here the x axis re represents time so time is given in the x axis you can see here and in the y axis velocity is given okay y axis we are plotting the velocity so what happens uh, for example you have to consider a situation 
the car is moving with the uniform acceleration of 40 km per hour okay so likewise 4 hours it is going so 40 kilometers per hour so i'm plotting the graph so it is moving in a uniform motion so i am obtaining with the graph like this straight line okay for every hour for first for one hour it is covering 40 kilometer yes or no for another set another one hour it is covering 40 kilometer in the third hour it is covering 40 kilometer in the fourth hour also it is covering 40 kilometer so we know that what happens the product of velocity and time gives the displacement of an object moving with the uniform motion this we know already the product of velocity and time gives the displacement so in this graph which gives the displacement the product of this time and velocity gives this blue color area which is the displacement covered by the car is it clear children thus the area under the velocity time graph is equal to the magnitude of the displacement which means the amount of distance covered in a particular direction is given by this blue color region so always whenever when you plot a graph that is velocity versus time velocity taking in the y axis and time taking in the x axis if you plot the graph you will get a straight line if it is a uniform velocity is it clear so area under that particular portion so area under this velocity will give you the displacement so how you can calculate the displacement what shape is this you have to include mathematics here this is a rectangle so you have to use the rectangle area of rectangle formula so what is the area of rectangle formula length into breadth so it is nothing but ac into cd is it clear it is given here so the displacement yes covered by the car in the time interval can be expressed as area of rectangle which is this shaded portion the portion the area the formula for area of rectangle is length into breadth which is ac into cd this is how you have to calculate the displacement covered by a particular object when you are plotting a velocity time graph okay now we can also study about the uniform accelerated motion by plotting its velocity time graph so you, you, you we can also calculate the uniform acceleration using this velocity time graph so we have to consider a car being driven along a straight road its velocity for every 5 seconds is noted from the speedometer of the car what is meant by speedometer the one which shows the amount of distance and the speed it is covering yes or no there is a needle in the bike and the car and all which will be continuously moving this side and that's it depending upon the speed of the vehicle yes or no that we call it as speedometer so now for every five seconds see the table for every five seconds the velocity of the car is being noted okay so when you note you can understand it is just the multiples of nine yes or no children 1 times of 9, 2 times of 9, 3 times of 9, 4 times of 9, it is multiple, multiples of 9 which means it is also increasing uniformly, the velocity is increasing uniformly, if it is increasing uniformly, what type of line you should get in the graph? It is very clear it is uniform acceleration that is why we are getting a linear line here okay so see this uh, paragraph in the green color box the nature of the graph shows that velocity changes by equal amounts in equal intervals of time thus for all uniformly accelerated motion the velocity time graph is is a straight line is it clear children now we have calculated we have plotted a graph we have obtained some area wherever we are finding the area under the graph what we will do we will try to find out the area of that shaded region yes or no so what that area under the shaded region will give you will give you the distance that is the magnitude of the displacement it will give you Here we have this type of shaded region so this region we are going to calculate the using this region we are going to calculate the distance this is uh, similar to that of that but here here you can see one triangle and also along with the rectangle yes or no children 
see the second point since the magnitude of the velocity of the car is changing due to acceleration the distance yes traveled by the car will be given by the area a b c d e so a b c d e can you see it in the graph listen the graph also side by side that is s is equal to area a b c d e which is splitted up into rectangle plus triangle yes or no can you see one rectangle in the graph and one triangle in the graph now we are going to apply the formula of area of rectangle and area of triangle here the area of rectangle is a b c d okay so it is length into breadth which will be a into b b into c a b into b c plus what is the area of triangle half into base into height so here it is half into ad base de is the height is it clear children so this is how you will calculate the area under the graph by using the formula of area of rectangle plus area of triangle next or otherwise you can also use the trapezium formula see the third point area of quadrangle a b c d e can also be calculated by calculating the area of trapezium a b c d e quadrangle means what any four angles if it is having quad means four if it is having four angle we call it as a quadrangle here you can use either rectangle plus triangle formula or directly you can use the trapezium formula trapezium formula is nothing but half into see the formula it is given here half into sum of the length of the parallel sides into distance between the parallel sides so now we are going to apply it half you have to come put it directly sum of the length of the parallel side sum means what plus you have to add them so length of the parallel sides means so this is one length a b the other length is c e okay a b and c e are the length of the parallel sides are they parallel to each other yes into distance between the parallel sides what is the distance between them b c okay is it clear so this is how you have to calculate either you can use rectangle plus triangle or you can directly calculate it as in the form of triangle sorry trapezium so trapezium you have to use the formula length half into length of the sum of the length of the parallel sides into distance between the parallel sides is it clear children so this graph another graph it is i have given here this graph if it is a non uniformly accelerated motion the graph velocity distance time graph and the velocity time graph looks like this only we don't have any detailed uh, uh, derivation or explanation for this if it is a, a non uniformly accelerated motion then the graph will looks look like this only for uniform motion always it gives a linear or a straight line is it clear children or you all clear next we are moving on to the equations of motion this is very important so listen very carefully children so this was given by newton he gave three sets of equation for uniformly accelerated object the motion of a body moving with uniform acceleration can be described with the help of three equations they are v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus half at square 2 as is equal to v square minus u square so here v u is the initial velocity v is the final velocity a is the acceleration t is the time s is the distance traveled so these equations will relate the displacement acceleration velocity and time is it clear children so we are going to derive this equation using a graph so let us derive graphically so first we have to identify the values of u v and t okay now let us start to derive these equations by graphical method so when you see the graph the change in velocity with the time for uniformly acceleration uh, accelerated object is given in the graph okay the change in velocity for uniformly accelerated object with time change in velocity with time for uniformly accelerated object is given here the object is starting from the point d see the graph listen carefully children the object starts from the point d okay in the graph with the velocity u so initial velocity always will be 
u it is starting so it is initial velocity it is given as u its velocity keeps increasing now so you can see here one steep line is going the velocity is increasing now and reaches the point b okay it is reaching the point b on the graph you know we are going to find out certain values uh, like value of u v t okay so that which is going to help us for substituting those values first we have to find out v for sorry u u is what initial velocity of the object so u is equal to this o d this is the initial velocity o d which is equal to e a why it is equal to e a it is parallel yes or no this o d is parallel to this e a next the final velocity of the object v final velocity means what it is the total velocity which is o c it is parallel to what the to the other side e b next time t is equal to time it is given along the x axis so what is the value here o e this o e is parallel to what d a yes or no so this is how we have to write next from the graph we need one more value which is this a b is equal to d c till here are you all clear so we have found the value of u v and t okay 